Although Pokemon Scarlet and Violet released with bugs, glitches, and everything in between, they're still being well received by fans. But this has left one major question on everybody's mind. What's next? The Paldean map has everything you could want from a Pokemon game. Luscious forests, barren deserts, frozen mountaintops. But one area in particular has raised eyebrows of players everywhere. Specifically, this inaccessible area in the northeast part of the map. No other area in the game is blocked off like this. Besides this corner, the rest of the region is surrounded by water. And if you try to swim too far away, you're stopped by an invisible wall. But what makes this cliff area different? Many speculate that this area is reserved for future DLC. You see, Paldea is actually based on Spain. And in Generation 6, we were introduced to the Kalos region, which is based off France. France and Spain are just a stone's throw away from each other on the real world map. So if we space them out just right, this is about how far away Paldea is from Kalos. This is important because Southern Kalos was inaccessible in X and Y. Many notable leakers of Scarlet and Violet are insisting that the inaccessible cliff area in northeastern Paldea will be parts of Southern Kalos that we never got to see. This is plausible for a number of reasons. First of all, the cliffs of the blocked off area are very uniquely shaped. It feels extremely intentional and it's the only area on the map that has this weird border pattern besides Area Zero, which also was a playable area after you unlock it. These cliffs also resemble the real life location of the Pyrenees mountain range, which divides Spain and France. On the wiki page for the Pyrenees, it says that the crown of Aragon and the kingdom of Navarre reside on either sides of these mountains. This coincides with the hexagonal disc legendary Pokemon mentioned in the Scarlet and Violet books, which wears a crown. Now this next point may be a little bit of a stretch, but there is one more legendary Pokemon associated heavily with hexagons, which is Zygarde, who is introduced in Kalos. That's it for this point, just hexagons. The last piece of evidence that points towards Kalos DLC is the fact that Kalos turns 10 years old this year. What better time to show the Generation 6 region some love than on its 10th year anniversary? Damn, I'm old. Hey, it's your good pal Juber from the future. During the editing process, I found this tweet that claims Nintendo and Game Freak have re-trademarked the Pokemon X and Y logos. Nobody knows exactly why, but I felt it was crucial to include with this theory. Anyway, all of this is speculative and not guaranteed at all, but it's okay to have your fingers crossed anyway. What do you think? Would you like to see Southern Kalos highlighted in the upcoming DLC? Let me know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell while you're down there. Thank you for watching, and bye forever.